What boundaries will you adhere to? Every type of connection thrives off of healthy boundaries and communication. For example, if you used to hug and kiss your ex, you will need to come to an understanding of what is acceptable in this new form of connection. Maybe you can still hug, but kisses are beyond that healthy boundary. Maybe hugs are not within the realm of friendship to one or both of you and will be taken out of the equation as well. What are your boundaries when it comes to complimenting or even showing flirtatious behavior, and will these change if one or both of you have a partner? A good frame of reference may be other friendships that you have. How do you interact with your other friends? Would you interact with them in the same way that you plan on interacting with your ex? Not every single detail needs to be planned. After all, life is always going to be filled with surprises and previously unthought of circumstances, but it is important that you define, at least for yourself, what friendship means and what type of interactions are within the bounds of friendship. Learning to assert those boundaries and respect the ones set by others will help you create a new type of connection with your ex that can last for years to come.